We are gonna blitz all game. We are gonna give our opponent no time to breathe, wondering where the heat is gonna be coming from next. And when the quarterback starts hitting his hot reads, we are gonna drop defenders into those spots for easy interceptions. We will confuse the quarterback at every opportunity. and force him to be perfect or it is gonna be a long day. This defensive scheme is gonna be based around the principles of one of the greatest defensive minds in NFL history, Dick LeBeau. He was the father of the zone blitz style of defense. He was the defensive coordinator of some of the greatest defenses ever. Dick LeBeau revolutionized the zone blitzing scheme and, and just terrorized quarterbacks. He made you play the game Differently. Now the origins of this defense started in the early 80s when LeBeau was with the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the dominant offenses of the time like the 49ers led by Joe Montana, the Chargers led by Dan Fouts, and the Oilers led by Warren Moon all relied on passing games that were starting to shred NFL defenses. Now the only way defenses would blitz their opponent at the time was zero man blitzes. This was man coverage across the board with no help anywhere for your man coverage. Now this was very risky. It would lead to some big plays, but you were super susceptible on the back end. And by this point, offenses had caught up to the zero blitz strategy and had predetermined hot routes that they would go to to beat the blitz. So the answer for LeBeau was to come up with the zone fire blitz. This is where you would blitz five players, including linebackers from the second level. And then you would replace their zone responsibilities with defensive linemen or other linebackers bluffing their blitzes and dropping out into passing. Line. Now this changed the way you could blitz because it was no longer an all or nothing proposition, but you could create pressure by confusing the offensive line and the quarterback and still having a strong six player covered shell on the back end. Now over time, he also developed a ton of different variations to his fire zone blitz blitz scheme. This made it almost impossible for the offense to identify the blitz and block it up before it led to some huge sacks and turnovers. Now, LeBeau's most successful stint running defense was when he was the defensive coordinator for the Steelers from 2004 to 2014. Now, over his first nine seasons at the helm, his defenses finished top 10 in scoring seven times. Also finished top five six times and then led the NFL in scoring defense three times. And then they were also two times Super Bowl champions over this stretch. Now, I wanted to make a defensive scheme inspired by these zone blitzes while still ensuring it was super effective in Madden. Now, the first change I made was LeBeau's defense was primarily based out of a 3-4 alignment where we are going to be primarily in nickel sets. He also tended to have a cover three shell on the back end of his defense while we are going to rely on a ton of cover two while mixing in cover three. Then the other big difference is when he would set up his blitzes, his linebackers would be starting at depth a ton of the time where we're going to be walking ours down on the line of scrimmage and forcing the O-line to commit to our players. Now I want to make sure you can run this scheme and have a ton of success just with what I put out for free on YouTube. But if you really want to take this defense to the next level, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Now going up today on the site are the first blitzes for this defense. They are absolute heaters while still having a great coverage shell behind them. Then also on my site is all my past premium content like my Ravens pistol offense and my Oregon Ducks spread scheme. And then running up until the end of Super Bowl Sunday, I have a discount for the site. So if you've ever really wanted to check everything out, now is the time. So use code SUPER at checkout for 50% off your first month. And then if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link down in the description for you to use. Now our three main formations we are going to be based out of are Nickel 245, Nickel Triple, and Nickel 245 Double A Gap. And we are going to be using the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook for this scheme. Now Nickel Triple is going to have more of a standard defensive look, but with our linebacker walk down into gaps. And this is going to be our main defense. We are going to start the game in and we're really going to make our opponent adjust off of this. Then when they start blocking extra players, we can move to nickel two, four, five, double A gap. With this set, both of our safeties are going to be down in the box and we 
we are going to use our, our nickel. We are going to bring him over the center and this is going to give us our maximum pressure and even going to get home when they are blocking extra players. These are going to be our main sets we are in for 80% of the game and are going to be our main answer for these high powered passing offense. And our other formation we are going to use is 3-4 under. This is going to be our main formation to stop the heavy run orientated offenses and then we will also use this in the red zone. Now we aren't going to go over the personnel for this formation today but we will go over it in my run D video in the future. Okay now we're going to look over the personnel we use for our nickel sets and we're really going to key on our five main stars for this scheme. Now the first players that are absolute linchpins in making this scheme work are our two outside defensive ends. They are going to be the ones coming in free the majority of the time and need to get to the QB as quick as possible. Now at these spots we actually want to use run stopping archetype outside linebackers. This is going to allow us to use the ability pairing of deflator and strip specialist for three AP. Now you don't need to use these abilities for this scheme to work but these players are going to be coming in free so much that this is going to help us force a ton of turnovers and make this defense even that much stronger. But I'm really going to break down these abilities and what makes them so good in a future video. And at these spots I'm using Micah Parsons and Clay Matthews. Then the next two key players for this scheme are going to be our two inside linebackers. Now we want to sub safeties in at these spots and these guys are going to be blitzing a ton but they'll also be dropping out into underneath zones looking for hots over the middle. We are also going to user these guys a ton. Now I'm using Taylor Mays and Isaiah Simmons at these spots and we are going to put Acrobat on both of these players. Then our last super key player for this scheme is our nickel back. He's going to be doing it all for us. He's going to be blitzing and firing in off the edge. He's going to be dropping out into coverage and taking away quick hitters and then he is also going to be our user for certain sets. Now we really want fast and good size at this spot and I am using Richard Sherman and then I also have Acrobat on this player. Then for the rest of our defense we have our four players in the secondary. These guys will be playing a ton of zone coverage so I would definitely key in on high zone and good speed so they can react quickly to balls coming out fast from our blitzes. Then I'm using Jalen Ramsey and Marlon Humphrey at these safety spots and then at cornerback I'm using Patrick Peterson and Patrick Sertan and none of these four players are going to have abilities. Then at our two defensive tackle spots we want the run stopping archetype and this is going to allow us to get inside stuff on both of our D tackles for one AP each. With these players we really just want them plugging up the middle of our defense because we're going to be sitting in nickel a ton and we're going to be a little lighter so we don't want to get run on and these guys are just going to blow up those inside runs. And then at these two spots I'm using Vince Wilfork and Sharif Floyd. Now this is going to be one of the best most fun defenses you will use all year. But if you want to see how to have a dominant run game to pair with this scheme you need to watch this video right here.